The Innovation Fund is a partnership between the Institute for Strategic Dialogue and Google.org to identify projects throughout the UK that are tackling issues online and offline around hate and extremism. We've seen hate and extremism on the rise in the UK, seeping into politics, seeping into culture, seeping into the online spaces. This problem, if left unchecked, will ultimately lead us to conflict. It is absolutely imperative that we compete effectively with hate mongers and with extremist machineries of propaganda and recruitment. The projects that we found through the Pilot Fund go across the board, online, offline, sports, arts, culture. It is about empowering those actors on the ground in communities who see the issues firsthand and helping them with resources to make real cut through and real impact on those issues. We've become a louder voice in speaking out against anti-Semitism, empowering others to hear it and challenge it. Boxing has a massive part to play in quashing prejudice, you know, because it brings people together. We have tackled exclusion with cutting edge virtual reality scenarios. We've been able to answer the question, what can I do if I see a hate crime? Some of these projects are first of a kind. They've never been done before. And so they're pioneering a new way of looking at the problem, a new solution to the problem. These projects are impacting on individuals, on communities, on whole towns and cities. And we hope that when we scale them up, it'll impact on the whole country. Understanding the quantitative measures is important, but it's the stories that really enable us to relate to the specific issue and the impact that these projects have. I'm one of those children that um, find it hard in school to stay still. I have autism and hypersensitivity. Life online is way better than offline. There's lots of people you can chat to, you can make friends, but it is really easy to just get radicalised. You just click on one chat that leads to someone trying to ask you to do something you don't want to do. It happens all the time. I stood in front of loads of teachers. I taught them how to be safe online. Most people don't know what radicalisation is and I'd like to help with that. Peaceborough is diverse, but uh, you do tend to find a lot of division between a group of people and ethnicities and uh, cultures and nationalities. So for the past year, I've tried to connect a bit more with Peaceborough because I've lived here for nearly 20 years. When you listen to other people's story, it might not be the same as yours, but there's something there that connects to yours. You can find the common ground. What I've learned, I want to transmit to other people as well. So if I can create my own project, if I can continue working on this project, if I can do something to unite people, then that's great. People that I met on, on this story of the city, they've been fantastic and I hope I'll be in contact with them forever. The pilot project has allowed us to identify some amazing ideas at a grassroots level, some of which we hope will be scalable and we can take even further. But of course, this journey doesn't stop. This issue isn't going away and it's something that we all need to tackle across society now and into the future. I want people to be able to have a nation of neighbours rather than worry about who's around the corner.